what's the relationship between the equilibrium constant and the con equilibrium constant with regarding pressure? So the relationship between k sub c and k sub p. Well, there's a formula for it. The pressure constant is equal to the concentration constant times a constant, r, times the Kelvin temperature, times the change in the number of gaseous moles. If you put a n sub g there, that would help you remember that it's gaseous moles. So, delta n is the sum of coefficients of gaseous products minus the sum of the coefficients of gaseous reactants. If you just set it up like that, you'll never get confused as to whether you're dealing with the gases or the concentrations. Just set it up like that. Maybe a little delta n sub g would help you there. All right, so we're making some carbon monoxide. This is a sample problem from carbon and carbon dioxide. And they give you the pressure constant of 1.90. What is the equilibrium constant at 25 degrees? They need to point out that it's at a constant temperature. Otherwise, we ignore that. Set up the chemical. Set up the formula. 1.90 equals k sub c, which we're going to solve for, and everything else we know, right? Point, there's the R, that's the gas constant. This is the temperature in Kelvin. Hey, we actually do need that to plug it in. And there's the gaseous delta N. Two on the product side, but only one on the reactant side, since carbon is in the solid form. And plug it in, and you get a value. That's the relationship between k sub c and k sub P. Notice they're not the same. In this case, the equilibrium constant was much lower than the pressure constant.